week. Um, Wednesday, as we talked about, um, you know, we had Glenville coming in, who was a very, very talented offensive team, and um, we didn't play well defensively, and uh, they ended up outscoring us. Um, but give them credit; they're a very good team. Um, it was just a, a rough night for us overall. Um, come back again, as we talked, transition to totally different type of style that we saw. Uh, but Wesleyan um, played well for about three quarters of the game. Um, as you can tell, I'm a little bit under the weather, and that has hit our team. And I think on Saturday, looking back, watching the film there yesterday, I think we just ran out of gas with guys being sick and um, you know, three games in one week last week. So but we're not going to make any excuses. Um, we've got to get better, and we've got a uh, couple games here before the end of the break. As this is finals week, guys are taking their finals, and then we go to Virginia Union next Monday, and then um, – home with uh, Bluefield State on Wednesday before we take our holiday break. How does this, how does the exposure to the various kinds of, of play on basketball court uh, sort of serve as a wake up call, sort of serve to get you guys ready for what's to come? Well, you know, that's the, that's the great thing about our league. There's a ton of different styles in it. Um, <coughs> you know, I was watching West Lib and Fairmont on uh, Sunday on Root Sports and those two teams are playing at an extremely high level and you have Je you know, Wes Willing Jesuit style who's playing really well right now and um, there's just a variety of styles and I think the more acclimated we get and our new guys get acclimated to those it's going to help us down the stretch because we'll probably see those teams a second time. And with the uh, finals going on now, tell me about the you know the players being pulled in different directions yeah. and, and some of them are not well Right. Yeah, going into it. Yeah, we uh, we finished up Saturday. We got back and we ended up taking off Sunday and Monday to allow them to focus on the finals. Uh, we had a bunch of guys have finals on Monday. Um, we went through a, did a little bit of a workout yesterday to try to get guys in. Obviously, the guys that were healthy, we had about three or four that were out uh, because of the sickness. <clears throat> that were taken off today as well because it's another heavy day with finals for our guys. So um, hopefully allowing them to focus on their academics as well as getting some rest around their study time. We'll get them healthy leading in. Uh, we'll get back at it Thursday and have four practices leading in to preparation for Virginia Union. And uh, there'll be a huge difference after finals are over with on Friday. Uh, tell me about that, what it's like to be here with no other students around. Well, it, it's good for our guys, you know. It's, uh, all, all of our guys have aspirations to play at the next level. And this kind of gives them a little bit of feel of that. Um, you know, there's no school. It's just they can focus on basketball and focus on preparation, focus on themselves. You know, some of our guys need to work to get a little bit better than, than where they are right now as a player. And um, they can do that leading up to that preparation there. Um, so it gives, you know, it's, it allows us as a team to, you know, kind of focus on ourselves. Um, like I said, those four days are going to be huge for us leading into that. The fact that uh, these next two games where you guys are not Mountain East teams, uh, that kind of switch a bit of a different road in a way and uh, not have to worry about league uh, records and league standings. Right, you know, we're sitting at 4-4 four four right now, and um, we have, have had success outside the league. Uh, our only loss being Winston-Salem, so if we can finish out our non-conference 5-1, that'll be a, a huge boost for us. I uh, printed off some stuff there about Virginia Union was taking a look at their roster. They're extremely talented. Have a handful of Division One transfers, some junior, junior college transfers. Um, so it's going to be a tough challenge for us heading there next Monday. And obviously, we've already played Bluefield State once, um, so we know a little bit more about them. But uh, they're a very, very good team. It's going to be going to be a, a tough go for us next week. How important is it to get a couple wins heading into the break when you guys are going to be off for the next three weeks? I think it's very, very important. It's you know for us to get a couple wins heading into break. Just gives us a good feeling going back home. They'll go back home, see their families, spend the holidays with them, and it just makes their holiday as well as mine <laughs> a lot more pleasant uh, if you can get a couple wins heading into that. Going back to the Glenville game, the fact that you guys really kind of dug yourself in a hole, what was the big message in terms of after that game trying to figure out what exactly went wrong and uh, translating that to how you guys did against Westland? Ultimately, everything falls back on me as the head coach. And I don't think we were, I don't think we respected Glenville. We looked at their record and saw where they were, and we 
we didn't respect him. And when you do that, those type of results are what you get. And uh, we talked about a little bit about that after the game. And um, you know, I think our mindset going into Wesleyan was completely different. Um, like I said, I just think with three games in a week, the sickness hitting the team, I think it just took a toll on us. Um, especially that type of game where possessions are so minimal with the way they play. Um, you know, it was a six to eight point game that seemed like it was a 20 point game just because they grind out the possessions and we just weren't able to get that back. You miss a couple of shots, everything gets magnified a little bit. So, but, um, you know, we had, a, we had a good workout yesterday and kind of talked to all the guys about how, what we have to do to fix it. Our leaders have come in and met with me and Coach Blake about what we have to do to kind of get things turned around. So I anticipate us having a very spirited and competitive practices the next four days and that leading into our games next week.